Hey guys, so welcome back to episode 2 here um, of the Argo build. So I'm going to actually start cleaning up this engine. It's getting painted with some high heat engine paint. So I'm just going to plug the orifices, scruff it up a bit, clean it, degrease it, and we'll get it ready for paint anyways. So this is going to be like the color is going, just kind of like a uh, cast iron grey. Now it's going to look a bit better, this is literally a light coat just to test it out. Yeah, let's go ahead now, find some uh, degreaser and uh, plug up this and we'll start getting this engine cleaned up. Okay guys, so I kind of got her relatively plugged up where I wanted to get the carburetor out of the way. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead now, spray everything down with the greaser, start scrubbing it down and get uh, some of the grime and dirt off. And we get the painter. So yeah, let's start that I guess. So we're out here in the high end painting boot. Got this all hosed down. And here's my little outdoor workbench. So all this is going to get wire wheeled and cleaned off and get ready for paint okay guys so this is what i'm ending up with so far i gotta say i do like the color that is gunmetal gray so yeah cheap dirty paint job but as i was saying earlier i'm not planning on keeping that engine very long but i don't know kind of like it not bad between today and tomorrow we're going to be getting an engine back in this thing and i have to change some engine oil and I gotta change the transmission oil just while it's easy to access. Other than that, put a little bit of paint on the base pan down there. Just all bright, all black. Literally, I can probably do it even at last, for example, because she's in really good shape. But yeah, guys. So for transmission oil, it takes ADW90. I looked it up, it's 0.75 liters, so just under a quart. And uh, for the engine oil, so it's 1.45 liters. And it takes SAE or straight 30. It's not a multi-viscosity oil. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead now. And I'm going to change the little gear oil here in this thing. In the transmission. You can see we have our dipstick right here. Which is um, a little twisty one. And on the front down here on the transmission is the drain plug. So, I'm going to drain out the oil. Take her off the jack, of course. Because right now i got her uplifted. And then, yeah. Uh, just check the gear oil in there and put some new stuff in it make sure the transmission likes her oil and then uh, we'll see what we can do about changing out the oil in this thing okay guys so we got the, the AW90 here so this is the gear oil it's just Honda AW90 that got kicking around belong to some of the three wheelers it's brand new so yeah I don't have a small little drain pan so I'm just going to use a cup get the proper wrench here now and drain out some oil Okay, so it's a quick, dirty, easy uh, gearbox oil change. So that's all brand new oil in her now. Uh, the brake pads are really good on this. And as you can see, like all the bearings, like someone's actually gone through this before. You can see they're all like brand new. Well, the bolts are at least. I um, I checked out some play with the wheels, like uh, even with the tracks on. I'm still gonna take the tracks off because I wanna paint up the rims, but there's like no play in any of these bearings. So that's going to save me a lot of time. So yeah, so for next on the list, I got to change the oil in this thing. 
Might as well change it now because between today and tomorrow, she's going back in. And we're going to hope that this runs. <laughs> I guess we'll find out, eh? So you can see down here, there's a, someone actually got a socket welded to that nut. So I guess they got that done in case it's in the machine. It's easier to change the oil on. So, yeah, I'm literally going to haul it over to this side a bit more. Like on the, on the thing, like on this uh, stool. And then we're going to drain it out. Put drain plug back in, fill it up with straight dirty oil of approximately 1.5 liters. Okay guys, I got it somehow. That was a really, really tight. Wow. Yeah, see what? They got the socket welded on. Brutal. I guess it's just because these are actually hard to change the oil on when they're in the machine. They're a bit of a pain. Oh well, let that dry or drain. Hopefully not make a huge gigantic mess. Okay guys, we're back in the shed this evening. And as you can see, we got the spare engine down in the Argo here. Still no idea if she's going to run or not. Had my uh, father give me a hand. They kind of slugged her in. It's a little bit hard for one person, and I don't want to beat up the body and potentially dropping it. And for two people, it's much better to actually get that in. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead now, tighten up the four bolts, and we're going to swap out the spark plugs, uh, put the carburetor on, uh, hook up the throttle linkage, exhaust, and we're going to see if we can get it running. Okay, guys, I'll just show you what I'm up to here. So I'm still trying to test this engine. I want to hear it run before I buttons everything up and does a clean, tidy job. But <clears throat> I'll show you now. I got the ignition coil on. This is after the condenser, like um, the little mechanism that comes up on a plunger. I'm not fully sure. This is a little bit past for, before my time. So I'll probably research it and throw it in the video on how it works. Um, yeah, one side's going to the coil from what I remember reading. It jumps over to do inductance. The other side plugs into the harness, which is literally two wires. So I'll show you guys on the stand, and I'm going to crank this. Put the key in the ignition, uh, have it in run position, and I don't even have any, like I don't even have a choke or anything hooked up as of yet. So we're going to see if we can actually get her run. If she runs, I'll uh, clean the exhaust and button everything up nicely, solder any connections. I had to. Um, chopped this off the other engine it was a little bit different i had two female versions so i chopped off the male and right now i've got a tape to get her temporarily but i will certainly solder that all right guys let's find a stand for you guys now and we'll see if we can get this actually running okay so just wire wheel the plugs try the champion plugs see if that makes any difference and we'll try it again just to see if she wants to come to life at all Right, throttle control. Okay guys, so trying to combat the spark problem or see what might be rattling around down here in the fly wheel. I just spray this down with a bit of PB blaster. And basically I'm gonna leave the engine in, but I wanna take this shroud off. And I noticed a couple of these are hard to get to. Plus under the, the connections right here, I need to solder this one anyway. So we might as well pop off this part of, uh, what's this? This is actually the ear intake. You can see the carb goes here was down into your cylinder. So I guess we might as well pop this off and um, see if we can get this shroud off. So you can see we have our connections here. This is the one that actually plugs into the harness. This is our air intake. Here's our little spark plug of force. This is our ZAS. So literally uh, the air just comes in through your air filter, in through the carb, down through each cylinder, right? She's a twin. She's like a boxer engine. She's flat, flat and opposed. However, a spark plug sitting on top of the head here. 
interesting layout. It's kind of like an industrial layout for sure. All right, so we gotta get this one and this one, and I'm trying to get this shroud out of here. See what's down potentially by the flywheel. wheel. So yeah, guys, finally got the shroud off. I found a bolt that was behind the flywheel on the bottom, which that was unfortunate, but it is what it is. So now we can only go up from here. So as you can see, we've got a rear cylinder and we got a forward cylinder. You can see the flywheel has some timing marks on it. I'm, I don't, I'm pretty sure this does not have any timing chain. It's just a, uh, like you set the timing based off the flywheel. Let's have a look at this anyways. Interesting. So guys, um, one thing to know about working on an Argo, it is tedious and it will take some of your patience. Easy to work on in principle, but it's like you drop something, you gotta go down here, you gotta drop a bolt, you gotta get your magnet. It can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Okay guys, so I got a few minutes here this morning. Um, I'm gonna go ahead now. The engine's back in, she's bolted in, carburetor's on, the ignition's on. Um, as you can see over right here, I have the connector plugged in, so I'm literally going to turn the key, and we're going to see if we can get it running today. Last day we had that missing bolt, or a random bolt down the flywheel. Could have been my fault, very possible. I'm going to move some of this stuff first. Okay guys, I just moved the wrenches and stuff, so the key is in the on position. Um, let's have a look here now, let's see what we can do. Have, I might have spark back. We will try it again, boys. We will try it again. Then I gotta go to work. All right. Now, where's the truck? Let's have a look. guys so she finally runs after a, a big headache <laughs> and uh, a little bit of doubt literally my foul black plan is just to buy a new engine and throw it down in her but the old caller's running she a bit smoky now keep in mind that engine is coated in fresh engine paint and who knows when the last time this was truly running so she might have old dirty oil still in the cylinder or up around it but yeah, I will certainly be trying her out. She sounds like a powerful engine. Yeah, I was starting to get a little bit frustrated with it. And now I can finally go to work. Pretty happy. Okay, guys, so thanks for tuning in to this little small episode, which is mainly just oil changes and me fighting with that old engine over there. So I'm assuming the next episode, we will be putting the top back on her, buttoning everything up nicely, and taking the tracks off. Still got to get around to that. But... Hopefully you're enjoying the episodes and the videos anyways. I will see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.